There's just something special about an artist that can produce high quality work, is clearly bright and well spoken, but can turn around and deliver a really funny Bieber joke. That's just part of David Levitard's charm, best known by his long held nickname, Lebo. Well, that was my Bieber code in high school, 0837. <laughs> I just dated myself. We visited the space he shares with Gibson in the Design District. The place is a beautiful marriage of musical instruments and Lebo's art. On this day, he was focusing on Guitar Town, a project where 30 artists from around the world were asked to work on large-scale guitars that would later be auctioned off with proceeds benefiting charity. About 10 years ago, he got into live painting on Lincoln Road, initially with the Spam All-Stars. Since then, the audience has gotten a bit larger, as too has his reputation for putting on high-energy shows. Once in a while, you can still catch him at Duraku on Lincoln Road Live Painting. Highly recommended. One of his most recent projects was massive and in San Francisco, where management group Arts Fund keeps him busy. They want to establish San Francisco as my second city, and then they have three other cities after that that we're building towards. So I basically, I spend about a quarter of the year there now, and they line up projects for me and really kind of get me enmeshed in the city. Much like he's done here in South Florida with murals like this city block parking garage and the 40 by 40 mural at the Pinnacle House. I asked him to explain his work as simply as possible. Um, I see myself as a storyteller. I tell stories with pictures, basically. My brother's a writer, he tells stories with words, and both my parents were Cuban exiles, and uh, freedom of speech was very much encouraged in our house, so I think it's a byproduct of that, and that's about as simple as it is, I think. You can see more of his postmodern cartoon art and fall in love for yourself at LeboStudios.com.